Welcome everybody to this episode of The Beer Show. I'm your host Frédéric Bouchard and today I am drinking and reviewing a sort of new product on the market in Montreal, Quebec. Uh, the province of Quebec, not the city, of course. Uh, it is the Jukebox Jazz, which has been on the market for about a month, a month and a half. Uh, you can find this in specialty uh, beer selling places. You won't find this in normal dépanneur or uh, let's say supermarket or uh, stuff like that. So uh, not too expensive. It was two forty nine for uh, the three hundred and forty one millimeter bottle. It is a five percent uh, percent five percent alcohol by volume beer. Sorry, and it is a amber. American, which is a um, which is a, a type of beer that I don't usually buy, but uh, the uh, the person that was working uh, at uh, Peluso suggested me that it was a really great product. So let's try this little beer. It is a twist cap. No, it is not a twist cap. So let's get a. Bottle opener for this bad boy, and today I'm going to be drinking my beer in a taster glass, which uh, it's the Winter Warmer Montreal Edition 2014 glass. So uh, I always like those sort of glasses. They're about four ounces, uh, really small. Usually you want to taste it, but at the same time, it's a good. Uh, it's good to set the pace of your drinking uh, during the nights. Since it's in a smaller glass, you're gonna take smaller, uh, smaller uh, sip every time, and at the same time, uh, say then it's finished. You take a little pause, maybe drink a little water, and then you go on. So a beer like this, I can fill it up three, four times during my night, and. It's, uh, I don't know, I find it's a better way, a more healthier way to drink your beer. This way, less hangover, more responsible uh, way of drinking. All right, let's stop talking and let's drink some beer. So let's start with the pour. Oh, wow. Nice. Not sure if you're able to see this. I'll try to go on the white. Yeah, on the white right there. So it's kind of dark, uh, really dark orange, almost. Uh, it has some red in it. So a lot of carbonation still going on, uh, but you have a small head. It wasn't crazy. And it's pretty, um, it's not a thick head, I would say. Like you can see it's big bubbles. The nose, the nose. I get some hops in there. I think it's 35 IBU, so not that strong, but I do smell it in the uh, in the nose. It smells it smells like pumpkin a little bit too. Pumpkins and a little bit of spices. There's there's something in there. I'll come back to it later. Let's taste it now. Mm. Oh. Okay, quite bitter, quite dry too, you know. So Jukebox uh, is a, um, it's a brand of uh, Les Brasseurs de Montréal. So it's just like a subsection of what they're brewing. Uh, it started about a year ago. They have three product, if I'm not mistaken, that are under the Jukebox label. And it's really good pro uh, products, especially their IPAs. It's, uh, it's something uh, pretty interesting. Okay. So what do I get in there? It's not overpowering, and there's an aftertaste of hops, but in the first, on my tongue, on the first seconds that I take my, my sip, there's not much, I'll be honest with you.
It is crisp though. I taste freshness in there. It's hard. It's hard to taste. And this is one of the reasons that usually, uh, if you see the uh, older episodes, I started the episode and I already had tasted the beer. Now you can see I open it up in front of you. And so say when I do that, like I haven't been able to study the beer. So I have less time and less material to give you guys. So I, I'm learning as we're going along. This is a new project for me and I'm learning to taste the beer. I'm growing as a alcohol, well, more like a beer consumer, but I'm also growing as a, a vlogger, which is kind of new for me. Usually I would do track and field videos and I would not really talk. Uh, the show was either me training or it was my athletes competing or training. So this is quite new to me, but it's getting better days so at the same time you, you can see I'm stretching it trying to let the beer give me feedback I smell um, cannelle what's cannelle cinnamon I smell cinnamon in there a little bit but overall still trying to see the taste in there No, it's the hops that I get, but it's a really subtle, small hop in the aftertaste. It leaves a metal taste in the mouth, um, but I don't really taste the um, the spice that I smell. It's kind of a little disappointing. So overall, it doesn't really taste that much, but it's an interesting product. I would say um, I would give it a 6.5 out of 10 if I would have to grade it. Sorry. Just because it doesn't taste that much. It's a good product. I'm not, look, it's not disgusting, not at all. It's good. But it doesn't bring me the places, you know. If some, see some beers you taste and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, it gives me like a a warm feeling and inside it's not the alcohol it's really that it brings you to a, a brand new place yeah I, I taste bitterness I taste a little bit of hops honestly that's all I get but it's not it's not bitterness like a IPA it's really like a different kind of uh, it's really metally, metal, yes, metal. This is what I taste in this beer. Mm. All right, so overall, it's a, it's a good product. 6.5 out of 10. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like always, please subscribe, uh, comment, and like if you, if you like the videos. Of course, this is really helpful to me. And uh, I will see you uh, next time for another edition of the beer show stay cool bye